What's up guys, my name is Sean Brown and today I'm going to teach you how to backside 180 no comply. Alright, so this is always the first step, you got to stay hydrated. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, but on the reel though, um, for this trick, all you had to know is like, I would recommend knowing backside 180s and maybe no comply frontside 180s. Um, these aren't requirements, but they're just gonna help you learn the trick. But just know that the frontside no comply is a lot easier than the backside no comply, at least for me. Okay, so for the foot position, just know that I'm regular. But what I do with my front foot, I put it kind of like a little bit halfway, three quarters away up the board. I put half my foot on the board like that. So I have like half my foot, uh, the toe side hanging off. And this is because you're gonna have to step off when doing this trick. So I feel like this uh, foot position helps me step off the most. Honestly, you're gonna just like, kind of have to test out stuff for yourself uh, and see what works best. But this is what works best for me with my front foot. And my back foot, when I have it on, it's in between the tip of the tail and the bag bolts right there. And that's because when you do that, it's gonna help you pop it and scoop at the same time. Cause if it's like too far back, you can like not be able to scoop and your foot might slide off. And if you're too far this way, you can't even push the board down. So that's also something you can just figure out for yourself. But I like putting it in between the concave, uh, like the tip of the tail and the back bolts. So when riding, my foot position looks pretty much like this. off you can't do it like that it's like it's like really almost one motion but basically you're gonna step backwards towards the tail a little bit more and then you're gonna turn your shoulders while pressing down really hard on the tail and then turn around and you're gonna drop the jump back on like I said like you have to push your uh, tail down really hard because if you don't push it down you're gonna get this little hover thing where like you press it a little bit and you try to turn it and it's not gonna go this way because it's just gonna pivot so you need to actually push it off the ground then when you scrape it, it's gonna get a little bit off and it's gonna go with the momentum to keep going that way. So basically you're gonna have to like test this out a bunch of times. I still mess up on it, but you're gonna have to like just see how much pressure you have to put down to actually get a solid pop on it when you're going across. So basically some practice steps you can do is kind of like roll a little bit slow at first and then just practice the motion. You don't have to do it all together. You can just practice the scraping part. Basically, the hardest part with this is that it's gonna be harder to get it as one motion at first because you're not, you're kind of, you might be a little scared to like just step off and turn at the same time. Uh, so basically, you're trying to practice that like step over and over again until you get confident enough to like just step off and then have it pop at the same time that you step off. So honestly, there's like all of this just practicing it. Um, there's no really like secret to it, but use that tip like where you're just basically sliding it and where you step off and slide instead of popping it, just so you can get a little feel for it, and then when you're confident enough, you can try. And basically, when you're doing this trick, you have to think about it all on your back foot, because you have to keep it on your back foot while you're doing the trick, because it's gonna stay on your back foot the whole time, so this helps it not to flip. Like, you still have to think about your front foot, but your back foot's gonna stay on it the whole time, because the front foot only steps off and then pops back on. So as long as you can stay on with your back foot, you can do this trick. Also realize this is a complete shoulder turning trick you can't really do it with just your hips because if you try to do it with just your hips then what's going to happen is you're going to land it and then you're going to slip off the thing is if you turn your shoulders then your hips will follow your shoulders allowing you to keep turning 180 with the trick so make sure you focus on your shoulders when actually doing the backside 180 part another tip is also to keep your feet wide during the whole trick because the goal is to get the board to actually go in between your legs as scary as that sounds uh 
sometimes it might hit it. I mean, it's happened to me, but just like, just, just really brace for it that happens. Hopefully it doesn't. What you're gonna do is like, you have to like, I know it sounds weird, but you gotta spread your legs wider. And this ha uh, just helps to give the board more space and like more room to not hit that area. So basically when it goes in between your legs, it like just helps the trick to flow a lot better than if you're trying to like push it away from your legs. So pretty much after that, those are like the main tips for a trick, but some common errors that happen. The first one is doing that little thing where it doesn't pop, it kind of like just glides across and your back truck just pivots. A way to fix that, all I have to do is just like push down a little bit harder so the board actually pops. This is like, I feel like the most common one, but you just gotta really make sure you push down pretty hard with your back foot so it just flows with the trick completely. So another error is like when the board flips when you're trying to do the trick, and this is a little tough to fix, but honestly, you just have to figure out a foot position with your back foot in order to make sure it stays with the board the whole entire time. Because if your foot loses contact with the board, it's likely to flip. Your back foot should stay on it the whole time, which should help it not flip. So you just gotta figure out, like just try different ways and different foot positions when doing the trick with your back foot, uh, just to see what can help your back foot stay on the board the most. So it's a little hard, but you just gotta like test it out for yourself and see what works. Another error is if you're kind of doing the trick, but it, you're not really landing on it, like you're kind of toe dragging a lot. The main thing with this, you gotta keep your body very straight and like just straight up. Like, I don't know how to really explain it, but you gotta keep your body perpendicular with the board. So just try to stand straight up and don't lean too far one way. And basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna help, like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's gonna keep the board more straight and then it's, you're gonna be able to see the bolts more easily in order to land on it instead of like leaning too far and then you might go over the board like near the toe side or you might go to your heel side. So just try to stand up as straight as possible and it might fix this error. And finally, one of the last errors that happens is when you actually land the trick, but you can't roll away. And the thing that I think that happens most with this is that most people are doing it where they're turning their hips and waist, but they're not turning their shoulders enough. So when they get on the board, their shoulders aren't ready like for going switch, and then they kind of just slip off. So uh, this still happens to me sometimes. Uh, what I do, I just try to make sure I really focus on my shoulders when doing the trick. So just make sure you completely rotate your shoulders and not just your waist, because if you rotate your shoulders, your waist will follow. So just make sure you only turn your shoulders when doing the trick, and then it'll help you out. So basically, after you put all those tips together, it should help out. Uh, if you have any more questions about this trick, then please comment them down below or DM me on Instagram with your attempts, and I actually will help you out. I check my DMs and I check my comments pretty frequently, so just like Snapchat me too if I'm not answering them, because I'll always check my Snapchat, okay? So like DM me, comment down below, or Snapchat if you need any more help. Otherwise than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I really hope this trick to help you guys. This is a really fun trick. Once you get it down, it's still a little difficult for me, but I got it a lot better than when I was first trying it, so just make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace.